Welcome to another session. Today we will learn about certain tricks on height and distance. If you are given a problem where the diagram comes something like this, where you will have two lines of sides, one and two, two angles of elevations, theta one and theta two, and you will be given the distance between point A and point B, and you are asked to find out the perpendicular, then you apply this formula is that perpendicular will be equal to d into tan of theta 1 into tan of theta 2 divided by tan of theta 1 minus tan of theta 2. If you apply this trick, you will be able to derive the answer for this type of a problems in less than one minute you can save your time so that you can devote that time to some other problems let us take one example and let us try to find out the answer less than one minute so here is the problem length of a shadow of a vertical tower on level ground increases by 10 meter when the altitude of the sun changes from 45 degree to 30 degree. That means the vertical tower, let's say it is standing here and the shadow is falling on the ground. So one is given as 45 degree, the other one is given as 30 degree. And what we are trying to find out is the height of the tower. That means this height we are trying to figure it out and let's say this is the perpendicular t and what is the distance is given as 10 meter this distance is given 10 meter it is increasing right increases by 10 meter so uh, first it was 45 degree and then when the altitude changes from 45 degree to 30 degree the shadow is increasing by 10 meter so this this difference is given so this looks like to the example that I have already given, right? So let's try to put our formula E is equal to D into tan of theta 1 into tan of theta 2 divided by tan of theta 1 minus tan of theta 2. So just put the values D is 10, tan theta is tan of theta 1 is 45 degree into tan of theta 2 is 30 degree divided by tan of 45 degree minus tan of 30 degree yeah so just tan 45 becomes 1 tan 30 will become 1 by root 3 then tan 45 again 1 minus 1 upon root 3 this is equal to 10 by root 3 the numerator and the denominator becomes root 3 minus 1 by root 3 so this will become root 3 get cancels out so 10 by root 3 minus 1 so this will be your answer so easy so here is the challenge I am throwing at you you will see on your screen the question is appearing so take this as a challenge practice it have a stopwatch in front of you and see that you are able to answer it within one minute thank you see you in the next session